Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Grace, and today we're going to do another drinking with Dustin. Today we're going to be drinking the Imperial Pump King from Southern Tier Brewery. And uh, I've never had this before, but I told, I've been told that it is really a, a great pumpkin beer. Um, let's see here. It is brewed at 8.6% alcohol, so it's a little bit of, on the heftier side. And it comes complete with a story, and I love when a beer comes complete with a story. Uh, bewitched and brewed with pagan spirit. Uh, Pumpkin is an ode to Puka. I might have just horribly mispronounced that. Um, a creature of Celtic fo <laughs> folklore who is both feared and respected by those who believe in it. Puka is said to waylay travelers throughout the night by tossing them on its back and providing them with a ride of their lives. It's a journey from which everyone returns forever changed. Uh, brewed in the spirit of All Hallows' Eve, a time of year when spirits can make contact with the physical world and when magic is most potent, pour Pumpkin into a goblet and allow its alluring spirit to overflow. As spicy aromas present themselves, let its deep, deep color... <sighs> reading hard. Um, let its deep copper color... Entice, or entrance you as your journey into this mystical brew has just begun. As the first drops touch your tongue, a magical spell will bewitch your taste buds, making it difficult to escape the Pump King. Uh, this beard is brewed with pagan spirit, yet should be enjoyed responsibly. So there's the public service announcement for this video. Um, it's funny how when you're reading something and when it starts to go south, it just continues to go south and never really uh, comes back. Ah, found it. Well, let me see here. I don't really have a goblet. I have wine glasses. So what we're going to use is we're just going to use the Arrogant Bastard Ale glass because fizzy yellow beer is for wussies. So anyway, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open and give this a go. And as for deep copper color, this is actually a bit um, more light than I thought it would be. You know, the deep copper color, I was thinking about a much like darker amber, but this is actually a more of a uh, sort of a golden uh, type beer. Now, um, if you watched the previous Drinking with Dustin where I drank the um, St. Ambrose pumpkin ale, I got a really big hit of pumpkin and cinnamon off of that right off the nose and with this not so much um, the pumpkin aroma is definitely there but it's I don't know it just like the other one was kinda like pumpkin pie let's see what this one's like No joke, and no bit of, uh, <clears throat> you know, hyperbole here. That might be just one of the best things I've ever tasted. That is really good. Very, extremely balanced. Wow. Yeah. You definitely get that pumpkin hit, and you definitely get... I'm not sure of the spices. It kind of reminds me of nutmeg a little bit. But uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Does it have anything about... Not really. About the spices used. Just says pureed pumpkin. Um, two row... For you, th those of you who are into this kind of stuff. Uh, two row pale malt. Caramel malt. Pureed pumpkin. Kettle hops are magnum. And aroma hops are sterling. So if that means anything to you. There you go. But... Wow, guys, uh, <clears throat> this, if you see this out on a store shelf somewhere, you have to buy this. Um, if you like beer, you have to buy this. This is freaking delicious. And usually when a beer comes in a big bottle like this, it's it usually doesn't disappoint.
Oh, it's, uh, mm, it's, it's right on the tip of my tongue what that flavor kind of is. And it's going to drive me nuts. And as soon as I stop filming the video and I kick back and just enjoy it, it's going to pop right in my head. That is fantastic. Um, yeah. No real... Maybe it's just the caramel. Maybe it's just that caramel malt that is really giving it that flavor. I bet you it is. Because now that I think about it, when I think about uh, caramel, it really has that big kind of caramel profile. Um, no real... Not a big hop profile. Definitely not a big um, roasted malt. Really that... The, the caramel malt is what takes you through this. And then mixing that with that pumpkin. I'm telling you what, guys. This is a fantastic one. So if you see this out there, you have to pick this up. Because this is um, brilliant. And I'm going to be looking into more stuff from Southern Tier. I've seen their bottles around. But I've never really given them uh, a shot at anything. But, uh, yeah. Really, really impressed with this. So definitely check this out. So I'm going to go... Uh, relax a little bit and enjoy this beer um, and <sighs> let me think about this because I'm going to be editing the podcast um, while I'm drinking this beer so I would assume that by the time this is up the podcast episode is already out but we had Return to Mother Base on there and uh, it was really a, a great great episode so definitely want to check uh, that out so there'll be a link below for that. But uh, anyway, that is it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.